Hello, I wanna share an idea with all of you that's been on my mind lately. Now, I remember hearing this idea years ago in a national sales meeting when I was in sales at the time. And then I recently heard this from my coach, Alex. Thank you, Alex, for reminding me of this wonderful concept. And this is called above the line or below the line thinking. And I wanna take a few minutes and talk about this because I think in this day and age, this is so important and it can have a huge impact on your day, your week, your month, and quite honestly, your life. So what do we mean by this? Well. First of all, I'm gonna make it simple. I wanna to talk to you about the difference between being a leader versus a victim. You notice leader, I've got a smiley face and victim, I've got a sad face because I've never met a victim or someone that says they're a victim that is happy and smiling, at least in my experience when I've been a victim before. But there's three other words I want you to think about. When we talk about being a leader versus a victim, I wrote this acronym. O-A-R, which means ownership, accountability, and responsibility. And then when we talk about being a victim, it's real easy to be a victim. You need to blame, you need to make excuses, and you need to be in denial. If you do those three things, you're going below the line. But I'm gonna share a couple examples in my life where I have faced this head on and where I have been able to go from being down here in the victim mode up to the leader mode. Now, number one, I know some of you have heard my story. I was almost killed by a drunk driver when I was nine years old. So yes, I can say today, I am a victim of a drunk driver, okay? So in that sense, I get it up about being a victim. But there's a couple things that happened is when I was growing up, I did kind of have this way of blaming, making excuses and being in denial. And how did I do that? A lot of ways. I was very self-conscious. I didn't have a lot of confidence in myself. I thought the most important thing that mattered was what I looked like. I had all these mixed up beliefs that were kind of a way of me making excuses and being in denial and blaming an event for who I was. Now, thankfully, I did quite a bit of intensive self-development training when I was thinking 18, a little bit, not, not a kid, not an adult yet, but I was in that age. And, and thank you for the self-development world out there because it shifted my life and it also makes me do the work I'm doing right now here with you. But what I came to realize was that that way of thinking was never gonna get me where I wanted to go in my lifetime. So let's talk about this. Once I finally took an attitude of being own, of ownership, being accountable, and also most importantly, being responsible for my life, my whole life shifted. I realized it wasn't what's here that matters, it's what's here in our heart and in our mind that's gonna make the biggest difference in the world. So I operated from inside out from that experience, but there's one more example I'll share with you that happened probably just about 10 years ago, and it was big. I was in a sales position, medical devices, doing really well. I had my best year ever. I was on stage at the national sales meeting. I was in the top 10, and I got promoted to a field sales trainer. I was getting accolades from the VP of sales, my director of sales, my boss. Everything was wonderful. Well, the next year, my world came crashing down. I couldn't sell myself out of a box, and I couldn't figure out why, but I do remember this. I started blaming. I was blaming my customers. I remember making excuses to my boss saying, well, my customer list changed and these customers aren't the same as the ones last year. I was in denial. I was saying, well, our prices are too expensive. We have too many issues. I had all these reasons and excuses and it was keeping me stuck. But I made a bigger decision. I made a coach and leadership decision I invite all of you to do. Whether it's me or someone else, get a coach. I got a coach and the coach got me to wake up. The coach that I hired, Michael, got me to see that I was doing some things here that I didn't realize. But he got me to take ownership of my activity. He got me to see that I was accountable and honestly, I wasn't working as much as I should be. I wasn't cold calling, prospecting. I wasn't doing half the work I should be doing. I got lazy. And then the last thing is he also got me to see that I was responsible for my results by the activity that I take every day, week, month, quarter. And thank God I ended the year on track and in the top 10. So with that, remember, be the leader, not the victim, and stay above the line.